Okay, fourth graders, we've been talking a lot about doing some math in order to get data to answer a question. Sometimes just finding the math answer isn't the final answer. You're just doing that in order to get the information you need to answer the question. Well, this today we're going to be working with division problems that have remainders. And we're going to take the information from the remainders and use it to make a logical and um, accurate answer for the question. So let's take a couple of situations. Uh, let's take this one. 17 people are attending a dinner party. Each table at the party can seat five people. How many tables are needed? Okay, so we've got 17 people. We're dividing it by five, five per table. And then how many tables are they going to need? So I'm definitely labeling my numbers. 17 divided by five, well, I know three times five is 15, right? So definitely three full tables, um, but there's gonna be two remainder, remainder of two. So this would be, how would I label this number? This is how you keep it clear, full tables. And then what's that remainder? Two what? People. I've completed my math. Got my labels. Now I can go see what my what the question was. How many tables will be needed? So three remainder two tables aren't needed, right? That doesn't even make sense. You need three full tables for sure. And then I have to think about, okay, there's two people left. They're having some kind of function. They're attending a dinner party. So I don't think I can just let two people sit on the ground. So we're going to have to have four tables, right? So that would be an example of taking the information from the um, the um, remainder and realizing that in order to answer the question, we now know we have to round up and get round up our answer as in how many tables to get, right? Okay, let's try another one. How about this one? 17 marbles and five girls. How many marbles will each girl get if the marbles are divided equally? So this time we have 17 marbles, and I might draw a little picture of a marble, divided by five girls. Girls, how many would each get? Well, they'd get three. Definitely everyone's going to get three marbles. But there's two remainder. Remainder, two. Two what? Girls, marbles? It's marbles. Now go back to the question. They asked how many would each girl get if they're divided equally? Well, they're definitely going to get three. That would be my answer. Three, right? That's it. Can we give them more? Can we round up and magically say, oh, we're just gonna magically have another marble? No, that wouldn't make sense. And we can't really divide, cut a marble up and share it. So this is an example of just dropping it. It's not necessary for the answer. We can answer the question without the remainder. We don't need that in our answer. They're all gonna get three. That's what they asked us. The next one will be, Kip and Henry have made five cups of lemonade. How much lemonade will each boy drink if they drink the same amount? Okay, let's write down our information. We've got five cups of lemonade divided among two boys. How much will each boy get if they're gonna drink the exact same amount? Well, I knew, I know that they, they can each get two cups, right? Because two times two is four. So they definitely could get two cups, but there's a remainder of one. One what? Cup of cup of lemonade. So there's one remainder, a remainder of one cup. In this situation, we want we have the ability to share this amount because cup of liquid can be divided quite easily among two people, right? How much will each of the boys get? Half. So we could, this is an example of sharing. We took this information, we're like, okay, to get two cups each, there's a cup left over. I can share that. I can divide that among the two. So I'm going to use the information from the remainder to realize that each boy will get two and a half cups. And that's an example of using the information from the division and the remainder especially to make a decision. And in this case, I shared it, and I know that they can each have two and a half cups. Sometimes you'll just have a Question like if it was the same thing, five cups of lemonade divided by two boys, two cups remainder one cup, same exact answer. The division is all the same, except the question says 
if each boy had the same amount, how much would be left over? And in that case, the remainder is just the answer. One cup's left over. If that's what they're asking me, I'm using the information to answer the question they're asking me. What are the keys to this? You know what I'm going to say. Labeling. Labeling and keeping your head in the problem. What's really happening? You might also notice that I kept going back to the question. I did my math, and then I went back, went back to my math, got my data, then answered my question. Okay, so that's what we're going to be thinking about and working on this week. What do we do with the information from the remainder in order to answer the question in a way that makes sense, right? And that's correct. So give that a try. I've got lots of practice this week. Hope you do great.